Go. We record? We're here today to protest against the arts cuts because John Craven and Simon Claridge have decided to have a little tea party and um, congratulate themselves about building a new building and we decided that the fact they're going to spend like millions of pounds making themselves a new building is pretty disgusting when they're taking away everyone's art cuts. So we're here today to ask him a few questions and hopefully disrupt his meeting a little bit. Why else would I say every week? I'm making stuff redundant. <laughs> Do you not feel like you're blocking freedom to speak? My bar. <laughs> I haven't got the word to speak, so shut up. Shut up. Well, that's fair. What was that? Do you want to say here? Freedom of speech also includes the freedom to remain silent. Okay, so why was I excited about any warning of this? And why won't you explain to Claire why she's been sacked and then you could reach out a meeting with her and then you cancelled it? How can what you've done to Claire not be seen as creating an atmosphere where staff can't even speak out about the welfare of the university? You did th what are you demonstrating right now, refusing to speak to people that have concerns about the well-being of this university? We're not just here to cause a nuisance. People, the students that are here generally care about arts in this university and you are refusing to talk to us. And you've continued to refuse. Your listening exercise was complete crap. You didn't take into consideration what anyone said. And as a result of your actions, 17 people, 17 members of staff have now lost their job. We've got art students who have been advertised, who have taken part in courses, advertised by yourself, that are now not the same. That's not how business works, is it? You can't change something halfway through. If, if you want business to be a, if you want education to be a business or to be a commodity, then you treat your customers with respect. If we're no longer have students and customers. confused arguments. The courses that we've closed for courses that we're not recruiting very well. We are expanding facilities in courses that are recruiting. Some of the changes are the result of the fact that the government removed all further education funding from the university and it's nothing to do with quasi-Marxist processes around commodification of education. It's, it's, it's not a quasi-Marxist argument. It is exactly what is going on right now. And you cannot, you cannot deny the fact that education has been increasingly made into a business. That's not a quasi-Marxist argument. It's what's going for on. a very, very long time in that we do have to continue not to make a loss or we would go out of business. But we don't make a loss. I realise that we don't make a loss and the reason we don't make a loss is that we make business decisions about what we continue to do. 
That's why we're a successful business rather than one that's just muddling along. Do you have any comment on the treatment of Claire? No. You have no comment? So, you know, how, is that how you treat your staff? That if any of them refu speak I out about. Was a member of staff. Well, she was an intern. She take part. She was working for you for free, so and you've treated her like rubbish. Well, I don't believe we treated her like rubbish, but that may be your uh, opinion. And well, you're welcome you, to it, but you I don't have any comments. You so announced you uh, you cancelled her internship without any sort of chance for her to speak to anyone. That is that is being treated like rubbish. She came into work on a Wednesday to find out that she was no longer required. For no, given no reason, and you, ha you well, and you, those who I'm have made the decision haven't even bothered to speak to her. You've got someone else to come to approach her. That's cowardice, John. It's not cowardice. I have two thousand staff, and I ask them to do all sorts of things. I can't do everything, so I don't see why. But it's you, cowardice. you've you've made the decision to end her internship, and you didn't even give her the chance to talk to you about it. I'm I'm sorry I don't to wish to comment interrupt here. I think this in I think you should, should, be, say should be concluded. Now. Thank you. And this, this event was about something completely different. I know, but this is the only time we get to speak to you because we try, you're never in, John. And when did you last contact me? We've, we've, tried, we've tried to make... Claire herself has tried to make appointments to speak with you we've, we're through I proper channels. Thank you.